Now just think about this. You'll never find two avocados exactly the same. And you're no different. You're encoded with unique skills and ability and talents that are unique to you, just like that avocado. No two avocados are the same. Now you could go all the way through the supermarket and pick out hundreds if not thousands of avocados and line them all up along the floor. But not two of those avocados would be exactly the same shape, with exactly the same features, exactly the same little dimples on the skin that I showed you earlier on. Here's to your success. It's Tony here with video number four in your five-step process towards success from an avocado. The five top tips for your success from a humble avocado. And we've been spending a lot of time together here, but we're on to fact number four now. And this avocado that I've got here is, uh, is, is from the supermarket. And at the moment, it's quite soft. In fact, it's ready to eat. Now, that sad, uh, uh, happy face might change to a sad face in a minute. But let me ask you a question. What is the biggest mistake that most people make when they embark on the journey toward their dream, vision, ambition, ideal partner, ideal scenario, future, whatever? What's the biggest mistake that people make when they step out into the unknown and follow their heart's desire? Have a think about that. You have the answer? Think about what I said here. This avocado is really ripe to eat. Well, they don't allow their dream or vision long enough to ripen. Now, it can take a year, it could take two years, it could take months, weeks, who knows. But most people stop or give up just before their dream manifests, just before they reach that point where suddenly everything falls into place. And it's so common. In fact, some people stop literally inches away from that dream manifesting. So in the same way that the avocado, when it was hanging from this tree, had to ripen. And if you find an avocado that's uh, not ripe, it's going to be hard. That avocado has a gestation period. Your dream has a gestation period, a period of time in which your dream needs to ripen. Okay, now I've had to learn this in the journey into the unknown, that I've had to look back over 18 months from the onset of me writing down on a piece of paper what it was that I wanted to move towards and the manifestation, the signs, the signals, the inspirations to arrive. It's been a journey. Don't lose sight of the importance of a journey because it's your approach and attitude and emotion throughout that journey that will determine the manifestation, your dream finding you. So remember that, allow your dream to ripen. It requires time. And all you need to do is to focus on every now moment along that journey. I've actually done another video precisely on this topic alone about the importance of staying present Focusing on the job in hand with excitement and gratitude and let inspiration, people, information, places come and find you. Because everything you could ask for is already here. Now if it's already here, this, this avocado will just hang from the tree and just wait there, growing, just growing and changing, but all the time attracting from the outside environment the circumstances and situations for it to ripen. Now, I'm not saying this is a sit back and put your feet up uh, scenario. No, no, no. You still need to act. But you can only act where you are and with the people and the places around you in joy and gratitude. Allow your dream to ripen. Don't get put off because months are going by and nothing's happening. There's a great saying I picked up a while ago. When it appears as though nothing's happening, everything's happening. It's happening. I mean, right now, we, you, I don't know what time of the day it is. It could be the evening time. It could be night time. It could be uh, daytime, bright sunlight. But if it was night time, you are aware that the sun is on the other side of the earth. 
And it may be dark where you are now, but you know that sun is still there on the other side of the earth, and you're just going to wait for the, for the morning. It's the same thing with your dream. You know, when you, when you hold that vision, you hold that in your imagination, and you just keep steadily moving towards your goal, it will find you. Now, I can prove that by my own journey. Now, if you want to find out more about how I go about manifesting dreams, how I go about actualizing an amazing imagination, just before I go off to sleep in a theta state, I've got a gift for you. You just need to remember to click on this link below and you can have access to an amazing tool, a meditation music tool that, that we, thinktothrive.com, Mike Hendricks and I and myself have adapted and made just for you and it's there for you to check out. And uh, from the humble avocado with his five top tips for your success, it's Tony Mallet signing out to your success. Yeah.